Okay, welcome back to Macro Monday. Now we are in the 700s. Uh, this has to do with timecode. So we've got these quick sheets here. We use this both on Magic Sheets, but I also use a Stream Deck, which is a quick way for me to manipulate with physical target keys, um, timecode adjustments. Uh, if you have an Apex console, which we want to get one on order here soon, you could use the OLED target keys on there or on some consoles, you actually have the macro buttons on your physical console as well. Uh, but let's walk through these. So 720 uh, is, um, so you see the label here is time. So we've got plus and minus 100 milliseconds, 500 milliseconds, one second, three seconds, and zero. And then I've also got this content check, which we'll go over here in just a second. Um, time code obviously works in hours, minutes, frames, or hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. And our brain doesn't naturally think in frames. Some people it is. Maybe if you're a video guy, frames come more naturally to you. I'm a lighting guy. I think of fractional seconds. ETC naturally works within fractions of a second because I can do my fade times in, you know, 2.2 seconds or a follow in a 2.2 seconds. Um, you're not doing that in frames. Um, and so since I think of that in tenths of a second or halves of a second, uh, my labels are this way, and then it just, since we're running at 30 frames per second for our time code, these are adjusting the time codes by that, and it does kind of the math for me. What's really nice about 30 frames a second is it equally divides up into tenths of a second, right? So if I've got a 100 milliseconds, which is a tenth of a second, this is going to do a time code execute plus three uh, frames. This is going to be plus minus three frames. As you know, when you're subtracting from an existing time, you want to modify or offset a time, you need to do the plus first. So that's uh, three. Uh, obviously, half a second is 15 frames either way. A whole second is 100 and minus 100. Three seconds is plus 300, minus 300. Uh, time of zero, uh, you just do a execute time enter and that clears out the times. So it's not really a time of zero, but it's to zero it out or blank it out. A content check in our environment, the latency or delay that we've got in where we're at um, between when we program with near field monitors versus in production, um, this lets us shift that 33 uh, milliseconds that we need to so that we're actually that much more accurate in our time code. All right, there we go. Uh, see you next week.